Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, January 26, 2024. Before I go further, let me remind you that my videos are always for entertainment purposes only, so enjoy. And if you don't, surf somewhere else. It didn't cost you anything to peek in here. <laughs> okay, well, a long time ago, if you've been listening to my videos for a while, and God bless you if you have, <laughs> because they're very much home productions, I mentioned that I looked forward to a day when I needed to make multiple videos a day because as you know, I tend to try to just do uh, one topic videos. So if it's a topic that interests you, you can listen and not have to listen to three or four reads that may be of very little interest. So today is one of those days. Things are accelerating people. It is getting exciting. The first topic I'd like to touch on today is Denver International Airport. They have long been known and has been called a conspiracy theory, but we've never had one that truly got proved wrong, have we? Conspiracy theorists, pattern recognitionists, truth seekers. Uh, anyway, the murals have been very disturbing that were part of the artwork at Denver International Airport. And the energy there, if you're energy sensitive, has always been really, really dark. And uh, I'd like to... Uh, go to a compilation and show you that uh, apparently as one of the overt signs that there is positive progress, the uh, that artwork is going bye-bye. So uh, let me take you to a compilation and if you'd like to review it, you can simply click on the Facebook link that's in the video description box or simply do some searching yourself for Denver International Airport murals. Okay. All right, but if you don't want to, I've got a short compilation that'll get you kind of an overview, and it's from a variety of sources. First of all, <laughs> I love this. What we see that is being done, what we don't see that is being done, a picture of an iceberg, which is always two thirds underwater. And I think that's very telling for what's going on today, although we're starting to see more of, the, of what's being done. There are anons that are um, saying that the removal of the disturbing uh, murals in Denver International Airport is akin to the destruction of the Georgia Guidestones as far as being a, and the Georgia Guidestones weren't rebuilt, were they? <laughs> okay, well, here's a, an example of some of the murals that they've got. Back in 1994, this was painted with kids messed up long before any COVID came along. They have to tell us what they're going to do, don't they? And see, indicating they'd be all over the world by the different uh, masks that have flag insignias on them. And how about this? Who would want that in your airport as you're going from point A to point B? And here we have a very disturbing uh, gas mask sort of fi supersized figure with uh, lots of weeping people behind and dead babies and very disturbing art was known there. So you can look at this rumble.com which talked about some of the artwork that's there. Here's a YouTube video, okay? Um, showing the Denver, Colorado airport this week. So this shows that some of the changes have happened. So that's right on YouTube. So that should be able to stay, you know, firmly in our sites. Vigilant Citizen um, had an article that talked about the um, sinister artwork. Denver Gazette announced months ago that that mural was going to be removed. And TikTok had Java Joe also doing a walk around and showing that the artwork has been removed. So let's ask the cards about this. I'm going to say, is the removal of the disturbing artwork in Denver International Airport, is this a sign of going from dark to light, plus other insights or information the universe wants us to know? Let's find out. I'm gonna switch the camera so you can watch me work with the cards and we'll discover the answer to this question together. Again, our question is to the universe on this timeline. So let's be real specific. Is the removal of the disturbing artwork that I reviewed earlier in this video um, at Denver International Airport a clear and telling sign that uh, our world is indeed going from dark to light and other insights and information the universe wants us to know.
Okay, we got the magician. The Hierophant. Two major arcanas out of, so far. Page of Cups. Four of Cups. Strength. The Devil. And the Three of Wands. Okay, what I'm getting is, yes, changes in the wind. It's positive change. It is change for the better, going from dark to light. Our question is important. Out of seven initial cards, four of them are major arcanas. The first three cards I put down all have components that talk about creating change. So let's take a look at those, okay? We've got the magician. Now, he is a card of manifesting, making things happen that there's a readiness, capability, and power to create change. So the removal of the murals has been because they were ready to um, make the fact that they've got the power to have things happen and that the cleanup. I know a few months ago, people were asking me about booms in the Denver area. And this, I believe, is a result of that. They're saying, you know, we got it, guys. We're going from dark to light. And they... Uh, the Hierophant is telling a little more about what the Magician. Magician has, talks about having the power to change. The Hierophant kind of talks about traditional structures. So there's been some structural changes that are happening with the power paradigm in that area of the country and along those ley lines. So that's really fantastic to see. Now, the Page of Cups is a creativity connection card. Okay, and often, you know, just a, a there's usually with him, there's a pleasant surprise on the way, um, kind of a little bit unexpected. The Four of Cups is where we're at as far as the current situation goes. Again, um, if we broaden our horizon and our perspective a little bit, we're gonna see some stuff that's not too obvious. And part of that is the, the rationale and meaning behind the removal of those murals. Okay, let's look at the near future. It's looking really, really good here because our card, the major arcana that showed up here is the strength card. Strength card is always stronger than the devil, which simply talks about um, those that have fallen to temptation and uh, willingly been led astray, okay? So strength came up against that, and especially with the manifesting change here, the devil kind of, his his uh, influence is kind of locked away by two very powerful cards, indicating that while not gone, doesn't have the access to um, shenanigans that he's had in the past. And then the next inside card we got is the Three of Wands, which talks about, first of all, wands are kind of fast moving action. So we can look for more activity to happen that is obvious to us if we keep our eyes open. It's not just in Denver. So let's look at that. And then the three of wands is a beautiful card because he's setting out a new new path. He knows exactly where he's gonna go. And it's very clear to him where his destination is or the direction of that destination. So I always like when the three of wands shows up because it's talking about moving forward into a clear path and uh, knowing exactly where you wanna be. Let's get some more cards and see what else we can find out about this question about Denver International Airport and the significance of the removal of those murals. <laughs> the world, another major arcana and a victory card. Knight of Swords, White Hats, the Alliance. They're te the cards are telling you who's doing this, guys, and why. So you should be smiling and going, pumping your fist and going, yes. Then we have the Two of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Two of Swords is ready and using, this is kind of a nod to the unconventional warfare that's been going on with the Two of Swords. And it's not over yet, guys. This is just the start of what is planned and the cleanup that is going to happen as we move forward into a going from dark to light, not just in my country, but across this entire plane of existence. So let's recap. We looked at the uh, information that the disturbing murals and artwork that Denver International Airport has long been known for um, are being removed, gone, <laughs> without fuss and fanfare. And we asked if this is an, a uh, positive sign 
as with the um, destruction of the Georgia Guidestones, that an area has been cleaned up, that there's been forward motion going from dark to light with our world. And here's what we got from the cards. First of all, in the first seven cards, we got four of them were major arcanas, which was a nod to you are on asking correct questions. This is information the universe is ready and willing to share with us. The magician card came up as far as the question and situation goes, one of capability to create change and make manifest whatever with infinity <laughs> as the, uh, the no limit to it, whatever it chooses. Okay. Now, what uh, that change is happening is to some former power structures and paradigms that had a foothold, not just a toehold in that area. Okay. The strength card came up for the near future. And again, another infinity sign saying change is in the wind and the possibilities are infinite and the strength there's been, a, if you can feel it, there's been a change, a shift in the energy on this planet. And if you notice, I, I do, I go from days where I just feel drained and then I feel this beautiful, joyful, energizing spirits like, okay, that's done. We're on to it. We've taken a step up towards the light. I think think of a stairway that's going from a dark room up to a light room. Okay. Now, the devil was constrained by both the uh, strength card and the magician card. So his days, this was in the near future, he's not gone. Okay. And shenanigan gang, you know, how whoever those may be, they're not gone, but they're days of influence and, um, Having a lot of power are definitely, definitely over with. We are moving into a new situation in our world and the path is clear and the path is going towards the light. Some of the near future cards are so beautiful. We got the uh, world, which is a victory card and it's for the entire world. So it's not just Denver International Airport that's seeing this cleanup, that's seeing a change of people pushing back, whether it's farmers that are protesting, <laughs> blocking roads with sheep, to convoys, that's the next video, by the way, to convoys, to whatever. White hats and people have had enough and we want our plane of existence cleaned up and back. And it's gonna happen, okay? The uh, more cleanups on the way, this is just the start, guys. I'm getting goosebumps as I make this video, I really am because things have changed and they have changed for the better. So we're not just talking about it now. We're not just hoping for it. We are not just holding the line. The line is advancing and even normies are getting glimpses of it. Okay. So that's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time, your attention, and uh, your support. It means a lot to me. And that support, I'm not talking about monetary. Although, you know, gifts are appreciated. I'm not going to turn them down. But the fact that you support what I do and you're really... Give me some grace for the fact that, you know, this is a home production <laughs> with just a regular over-the-counter equipment. And I do appreciate you very much and your patience with me. So until next time, which will be soon, <laughs> I wish you love and light and all things bright. If you're willing to accept that, you got it. Bye.